Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Jenkins tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can parameterize your build in Jenkins. Now, sometimes it is necessary or useful to have builds to take one or more parameters. And Jenkins allow you to parameterize your build so that you can provide one or several parameters at the time of building your job. So let's see how we can do it. So we are going to create a new Jenkins job. So I'm going to just uh, click on a new item and then I'm going to give the name to my job, which is parameterized project. And then we are going to choose the freestyle project and I'm going to click OK here, which is going to create our Jenkins job. So once your job is created, I will leave uh, this uh, description as uh, default, which is blank. And then to parameterize your build, you will see in this general section under the description, there is an option called this project is parameterized. Okay, so you just need to choose this option which says this project is parameterized. Here you can add several type of parameters, for example, Boolean parameter or choice parameter or credentials parameter. And you can see there are several parameters which you can choose from this list. So we are going to choose, let's say, string parameter for now. And here, let's say at the time of uh, building our job, we want the user to provide the platform on which this Jenkins job is running. So in the first option, which asks us to provide the variable name, we will uh, just provide the platform uh, keyword here, which is uh, the variable name, which we will use in our build. And you can also provide the default value of uh, this parameter. Let's say the default value of this parameter is Linux. It's optional. So if you don't provide any default value, it's okay. But uh, if you want, you can provide the default value from here. And also the description is also optional. So if you want to provide the description, you can provide it from here or you can leave it as default. And there is one more option here, which says trim the string. If you check this uh, option, you can see uh, what it does. So it strip white spaces from beginning and the end from the string. So we have added one parameter to our uh, Jenkins build. And then I will uh, leave uh, the other sections as default. And in the build section, I'm going to just choose uh, this option, which says execute shell. If you are using Windows, you can choose execute Windows batch command from here. And here I'm going to just echo the parameter which is provided by Jenkins to us. So to echo a parameter on Linux, you can use dollar symbol and then the parameter name, which is in our case, the parameter name is platform. Okay, so just uh, copy this uh, parameter name and after this dollar symbol, just uh, write your parameter name. And this is going to just uh, print the value which you will provide for your parameter. So I'm going to save this job. And once the job is saved, I'm going to just execute this build. So now one new thing you will see here is normally you will see this text as build, but because we have provided some parameters for this build so it says here build with parameters okay so just click on this uh, job and on the right hand side you will uh, see here this build requires parameters and the default value of uh, this variable or parameter platform we have given linux here so let's change this default value let's say we want to just give uh, Unix uh, value for our platform variable and I'm going to just click on this uh, build button which is going to build our job with that parameter and I'm going to just go to the console output to see if it's successful or not. So you can see this echo command is executed with the parameter which we have provided which is Unix. Okay, so this is how you can provide the parameters to your Jenkins build. Now I'm going to go to the configuration once again. So if you have a different operating system, some operating system, uh, for example, if you are using the same uh, echo command 
on your Windows operating system, you can use these modulus symbol in front and the back of your parameters. So on Windows, you need to provide this mod in front and at the end of your parameter, then it will be executed without giving you problems. So this is for Windows. So I'm going to just provide this hash, which is a comment. And I'm going to just uh, write uh, Windows here. So for Windows, you need to use this mod symbol in front and end. And on Mac, I think this uh, dollar will uh, work. If this dollar doesn't work, then uh, we can also use, for example, echo and then a dollar and in these curly brackets, your parameter name, which is uh, platform. So in some operating system, this type of syntax is valid. So you can also use uh, this type of syntax. Now let's uh, choose some more parameters from here. So one parameter we have already provided, which is a string parameter. Let's provide the second parameter and uh, this parameter will be a choice parameter. So you can uh, choose from a list of uh, the choices which you give here. So the variable name I'm going to give here is uh, choice itself. And here you can give your choices. So for example, A, B, C, D, E, something like this. If you want to choose some other kind of variable name, you can uh, just choose Linux and, uh, and then uh, Windows or uh, Mac or Unix or any other. So this type of uh, choices you can provide in this choices box one by one on uh, every line. So every line is a choice here. And I'm going to leave this description as default and let's echo this uh, choice parameter also. So I'm going to just write uh, choice from here and then I'm going to just save this uh, build. And once again, I'm going to click on build with parameters and you can see there are two parameters present now. One is the platform parameter, other is the choice parameter. So platform I will uh, leave as Linux and the choice I will uh, just choose D here. And then I'm going to click on build, which is going to build my job. And then I'm going to go to the console output and you can see it has echoed Linux first of all, and then echo D is executed, which we have chosen from the choice parameters. So this is how you can parameterize your job or build in Jenkins. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.